I mean, they're... So I'm smelling my hands. We're not because normally I would cut this out of the video. Me just sniffing my hands. You'd be like, oh, that we're 30 seconds in and she's inhaling her fingers. Riley, my dog, got sprayed by a skunk two days ago, and like that whole corner of the house smells by the back door. He smells. The blanket smells. I have multiple loads of laundry. I'm trying to get the smell out of, and it's not really working. So I was hoping this room didn't smell. But also, I'm I'm getting a little sick. I have like a little bit of a sore throat and a little bit of a stuffy nose. That's why I got the hot coffee today. Ugh. What is going on? So it's like when I can smell. It's usually not the best smell because it smells like skunk. I got my Scream shirt on. I wear this all the time. I also love Matthew Lillard. I love Matthew Lillard. I think he's nice, funny. He's very attractive in this role. This was not Scream, but still. My shirt says nothing. Just chilling, killing. And he's on the phone. Then I got little Scream earrings that say, call me. We're doing another P.O. box opening because I want to show off the Halloween tree in the back. There's an influx of mail again, so I want to open it on camera. As always, I'm going to write down the cities and states the mail comes from so I can keep track. I have no idea if we have hit every state yet. I have no idea. I have, I'd have to look at my Google document. Just a color-coded Google document. Oh, I love documents. I love paper. I love a good spreadsheet. I'm not super big on graphs. I just, you know, the X and the Y axis, it's a lot to like, ugh, my bra, I gotta go here, the lazy eye's not even looking at the chart. It's a lot. This is from Sarah, Sarah without an H. I feel like the name Sarah especially, it's very important to say Sarah with an H, Sarah without an H on the end. I know plenty of both. Sarah from Toledo, Ohio. Love a good sprinkly package. Oh, it's a Dunkin' Cup koozie. Why is it on the one day I drink Starbucks? I get Dunkin'? It says Dunky Junkie on the note. Ooh. Sarah, you spoil me. A little handwritten note. Hey, girl, hey. I love a good letter starter. Hey, girl, hey. My best friend started tagging me in your videos. We love them. When I saw you love Dunkin', I was excited because I work at a Dunkin'. <gasps> Sarah! I couldn't help notice uh, you don't have a koozie for your coffee cup, so I am sending you two. I hope you love them. Love two of your fans, Sarah and Desiree. Amazing. Thank you so much. I do have a coffee koozie. I just don't have a Dunkin' one specifically, but you look at you coming in clutch with the orange paint. This is the one I always use. A fan also sent this to me. It's from Aurora B. I think it's an Etsy shop. It just says, I can't touch this. It's so dirty. The inside's confetti. And then my coworker and friend Lauren, maybe this one, she crocheted it, which this one would be perfect for the hot coffee. Let me get this stupid cardboard out of here. I don't need branding. <gasps> She's ready for fall. But these are cool. Thank you so much for these. Heck yeah. This would like perfectly fit the medium Dunkin' Cup. I can picture it right now. A medium iced coffee, caramel mocha, cream and sugar. Thank you so much. See you next time. Yes. I really don't know if anybody that works at a Dunkin' has ever sent mail. You might be the first. That's very interesting. I don't know what this is, but the packaging around it feels very loosey goosey. Like it's either broken or flimsy or liquid. Oh, it's an open box of Taco Bell. Why is it open? A Taco Bell soft taco taco dinner kit. Unidentified foily object. You got the mild sauce. Is this open? You got the original taco seasoning mix. Okay. In the pack, how does it open with it? It's what's already in here. I feel like it's already destroyed and they shove it in the bag anyways. Oh, these are the shells. When I go to Taco Bell, I never get the sauce. The things that I get, they put enough sauce on. No note on that. Thank you. Next time we do taco night around here, I'm gonna put some of that seasoning on there. I like Taco Bell's meat, even though is it really meat? Is it not meat? What is it? This is a letter from Caitlin, Houston, Texas. I feel like we've gotten something from Houston before, but at the same time, I haven't said Houston out loud in a long time. It's not ringing a bell. I love a good gold card. That's such a cute little card. You make the world a better place. Christine, hope this letter finds you well. It brings a smile to your face. I wanted to take a moment to express gratitude for sharing your talents and humor to the world. I'm a social worker as a therapist working with survivors of DV and SA. For many reasons, work has been hard and the pressure of studying for my LCSW program it sounds like you're smart. I don't even know what LCSW means. She's studying for the alphabet test. Um, the program has been weighing heavy. I know that when I clicked on your videos, I'm going to smile, laugh, and take lessons from your content. I have finally become a hat girl and a ring girl. Thank you for everything. Woo! Caitlin. Okay. Wow. I remember a very long time ago, I said it to my friend the other day, which is interesting. When I wore hats one time in a video, I said, if you don't think you could wear hats, like specifically hats, just an accessory, you just have to wear hats a, like a couple of times. And then all of a sudden you're a hat person. It's not because you don't look good in hats, it's because no one's ever seen you in a hat, including yourself. So if you wear the hats more often, then you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember I wore the, I've worn this hat like seven times. I am a hat person. Same thing as rings, jewelry. I remember like specifically the day that I was like, I really want to be a person who wears rings. Just started wearing them, felt weird for a month. Now I'm 
like, if I don't have my rings on, I'm like, where are they? Where's the cheap metal that I keep on my fingers? What's worse? I can't spin nothing when I'm sitting here thinking about it. I love that. Thank you so much for being a social worker and for everything that you do. I'm, I'm sure the job is tough and it's hard and it's not an easy one, but we need people like you out there doing that who are passionate about that, helping others. Cause that is just as amazing. I'm very, good luck on your program. I still have no idea. Maybe I'll have to Google it, but good luck. Make sure you take frequent breaks when you're studying and you know, you work on your own mental health as you're helping others, but that's great. I've not become a hat girl and a ring girl. I love that. More people wearing rings and hats. I love to see it. Thank you. That was so cute. It's from Ashton. Bloomington, Illinois. Please open on camera. Duct tape on the back. You know you're serious when you put duct tape on the back. They said scotch tape will not. No, we need to be able to see the tape. Oh, did I just rip your note? God damn. <laughs> okay, note, handwritten. Amazing. There's something chunky in here. Oh, shut Oh my God, these are so cute. Shut up. Oh my God. Well, you don't shut up. Well, I'm not gonna tell myself to shut up. What does that even mean when you say shut up? It's more just like an outward expression of like, oh, hold your horses. Shut up, hold your horses. Can you remember back in the day when they used to ride in carriages? Two girls gossiping on a horse-drawn wagon on the way to the trading post. One of them tells a secret about an affair. Bruce has been cheating on Jenny. Oh, shut up. And she goes, hold your horses. Cause I let go of the reins. She goes, hold the horses, hold your horses. That's probably where that originated from. I got sidetracked. Look at these, they're like little Duncan charms. I love these so much already. Oh my God, these are going in the office. I think they're meant for your shoes but they're going in the office. A little Dunkin' iced coffee charm. That's exactly what they look like. Holy shit, they're so vibrant and colorful. There's donuts. Got the logo. Something else fell out of here. A picture of a dog. Luna. I, this is great. Hi, Christine. I've been watching you since the first Alley the Cactus video on TikTok and quickly discovered your YouTube channel. You've helped me when I have random anxiety. I feel, I feel you so hard when you say random anxiety because where does it come from? Just the most random times about the most random that you're like, why am I having anxiety about this? I can turn on one of your YouTube videos and it helps me calm down. I know you never intended on helping so many people in this way, but I'm so happy that you do. Yeah, it's a very, I never publish a video and go, damn, I hope this helps with those anxiety. I publish a video and I go, damn, I hope something in there I said was funny. <laughs> Keep being your goofy yet amazing self. Anyway, my name is Ashton. I'm 25 years old. I have a dog named Luna who is seven years old and originally diagnosed with diabetes. Crap, the dog's got diabetes. As odd as it sounds, Luna does not care about the insulin shots and is unbothered when I give them to her twice a day. Luna is a is a jeep. She doesn't care. She goes, stick me! Give me a treat. But don't worry, she is fine and doing well. Great. I decided to include a picture of her so you can enjoy it as I know you enjoy dogs just as much as I do. Funny story. Took me three tries to try and get a good picture of my on my Polaroid camera because she kept sitting funny and it turns out she just sits all awkward for pictures. I don't think she's sitting awkward. Sometimes Riley takes a picture and his ears are so, his resting ears are so flat against his head that I'm like, you look like you're about to pee your pants and you don't even wear pants. This is crazy. Anyways, I was online shopping as I do way too often. Same. <laughs> I saw these croc charms and I had to get them for you because I appreciate you and enjoy your videos so much. I have literally watched all of your YouTube videos more than once. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy this little gift and hope my letter can bring a smile to your face. Keep making people laugh. Much love, Ashton. Yeah, the charms are, I don't know if they're gonna go on my crocs because I don't wanna lose them. What if they pop out? What if I lose one? <gasps> I might just stick them to the wall in here. Oh, I have so many little gaps between my post-it notes and little stickers that I could put those charms in. I just gotta figure out how to stick them to the wall. Why is my first thought a little bit of super glue? Well, I'm not gonna super glue nothing to the wall. I used to hot glue things to the wall in college because I thought it was funny. Also, it wasn't my house. Lesson learned. I'll figure it out. We'll do some. Oh my, can't wait. Oh, thank you so much. This is why I don't get hot coffee because it's like lukewarm by the time I drink it. You guys know it takes me 12 hours to drink a cup of coffee. I'm gonna have to microwave that cup seven times. I don't even know if you're supposed to be microwaving the cups. Probably not. Gossin. Who's Gossin? Who the heck is Gossin? They look like glasses. Let's get a better picture. What to go? Oh, is this? Is this a colonial wig? Top cosplay. Come out here like George Washington. Cross some lands. Talk to some people. Wear some wigs. You know the deal. Some all American shades. Look at that. Is there no note? Of course there's no note. Of course there's no note. They like go beyond the bend. I got a big head. Sometimes those glasses sit wider. Wow. Look at the reflect. You see exactly where you guys are sitting in the one. Look at the reflection on that. Four score and seven years ago. Or is that Abraham Lincoln? I do declare. We ain't got one like this. <laughs> like the curly cues on the side. I got the buns and I don't know if I could put it on with the buns. Okay, I'll take the buns out. They were looking so cute. They were doing so well. Yeah, I'm sure the wig will go, the colonial wig will go really well with my scream uh, earrings. <laughs> Where's the center? There's no part. They didn't have parts back in the day. It kind of looks good. Like it looks natural. This is the nicest fitting wig I've ever gotten. This is snug as a rug. Look at the, oh, you never see my me wear my hair in a ponytail. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where do you get
getting this nice of curls. I do declare that we cross the Delaware. This how curly their hair was back in the day? Well, I'm thinking about trading in my donkey for one of those horses. Get one of them horse-powered carriages. Well, I was thinking about trading my donkey for some apple seeds. Johnny, they call me Johnny Apple Seeds because I love the apples. Oh, my God, wait, the top's moving? Where the fuck is the part? Where's this coming from? Tuck it back. Am I moving around too much? Where'd this loose end come from? What is this? Hello? The founding fathers at a rave? <laughs> this is curled and they just flick this back. Their hair did not look this good back in the day. They didn't even have hair products. What's up? My name's George. I like to curl my hair, rip cigs, and make laws with my other founding fathers. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'll wear it as long as I can. <laughs> Them at the dances. <laughs> Milady? Milady? This from Rana Thatcher, Arizona. Thatcher would be a good name, no? Name somebody Thatcher? Okay, hold on. Here we go. Imagine George Washington having a P.O. box. What would they even send him besides wooden car car- that almost just fell on my foot. Quick reaction time. A wooden car carrier. Listen, I already know who this is going to. My nephew. He would love, are you kidding? He would love this. Does this move? This top part? Wooden race car? You get to paint your own wooden race car? I think the founding fathers would have loved that. They sent me a harmonica. Now this is something they would have back in the day. How do you open this? Ooh, child. Brother, brothers, brethren. <laughs> I have always wanted to learn how to play the harmonica. I can't find anybody around here who gives lessons. I've tried to learn myself. Love you, Christine. Is this a little metal sign? We haven't gotten a cactus sign in a while. I love when people have signs, and if they're not old, they look old. I love an old looking sign. Guess what? I don't give a fuck you land. Why did I shower before this? Because I'm sweating, and my hairline is going to shit. My nephew's gonna love this so much. You guys are giving me ant point, ant brownie points. What is this? Okay, yeah, there is a note, and this note is written on black notebook paper. They didn't have this back in the day. If I'm wearing this wig, I'm allowed to make all the, the back in my day jokes as I want. <laughs> and I just love brown sideburns. Christine, I just wanna say I love, it's written in like orange. That feels like magic. Christine, I just wanna say I love your videos. Uh, you're the reason I smile every day. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for everything you do. These are for you, your nephew to do together if he's into crafts. Play a little rough on the painting. We'll save that for when he's older because he's always gonna like cars. Again, thank you for everything you do. Stay weird. <laughs> Love that. From, uh, from Rana. Is it Rona or Rana? I think it's Rana because there's two ends. I'm going to use deductive reasoning. Rana. I'm going to be playing with that the rest of the day. I saw the text. I saw the text. I saw the comment about this. This is from DebbieDrawsFunny.com. Debbie is a regular viewer of the channel. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much for sending me a package. I saw your note, your comment. Your note? <laughs> your comment saying you're sending something. Look at the pumpkin dancing guy. Love that. It says, please don't feel overwhelmed. I promise most of this is practical, useful stuff. XO Debbie. Oh, and it's from Salon, Ohio. Or Salon? Not Salon, like a hair salon. We know I don't need one of those, no. Salon, Ohio. Salon? Like, colon but with an s solon in my head when i said colon i was like do i even have a colon everybody has a colon christine the human anatomy is not my strong point neither is geography Ooh, paper on the top tied it with a string love that came out right on top i, sh I think she said something about a sweatshirt maybe a halloween themed sweatshirt i mean i'm reusing this string this is gonna come in handy during christmas this is so soft <laughs> yes yeah, with uh ouija the mystifying oracle talks spooky to me <laughs> I love that. It's like a Ouija board on a sweatshirt. I'm like laying down at a party. They got the little tablet on me. They're like, yes, Mr. Benjamin Franklin. We're going to bring some spirits back. I'm like, oh my God. Who's out here wearing Ouija board sweatshirts? Besides the Founding Father Scream fans. This one says, hello. I love when things are packaged in paper. It just feels like the olden days. There's a raccoon on a card. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Just as I live and breathe, I'm messing up the wig. How do people have this much hair? This is a lot. Dear Christine, well, 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 look who I finally got her ADHD ass in order and sent you a care package. It's me, it's my ADHD ass. <laughs> we are starting out so strong. I've been a long time goober. Fan since the late night trip to Walmart brought Ellie into your life and have journeyed with you through plate gate, clip on bangs, never have I ever's coffee runs, after snaps, and cookie without recipes. Well, when you say it like that, sounds like we've done a lot. Named off every like series I've ever had. You always bring the laughs and the good times and crack me and my family up. Thank you for your comedic service. Service? Oh my gosh. Sounds like I should be at least like qualified with like a certificate or something. Once said something funny. That's all the certification I need. Please keep being the light that you are and sparkle of joy. The good vibes, gal. The good vibes gal oh my gosh that's all i want to be known as the good vibes gal oh look christine the good vibes gal's here she wears wigs a lot but that's besides the point the good vibes gal plus whatever
whatever positive sayings I can think of, think of right now. <laughs> we didn't have phones back in the day. Where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. I gotta flip my laundry. Oh yeah, my name is Deb and I'm an artist in Cleveland and I make stationery and gifts for my shop, DebbieDrawsFunny.com. And my brand can be found in some retail stores. Wow, congratulations. In the US and Canada. And Canada. She said, international. I hope this box of greeting cards will come in clutch when a holiday or birthday sneaks up on you. It always does. I missed one the other day, my bad. And you can enjoy all the other stuff I crammed in here too. Right, written on the back of the card, I love that. Crammed in here too. If you happen to open this on camera and you want to share a coupon code with your audience, this promo code, Christine, all caps, promo code for 20% off. Keep being the beautiful human you are inside and out much love and extra squeezy hugs from Deb. Oh, I just love a good stack of stuff. You may be too young to know Hall and Oats. I know who Hall and Oats are. Look at my wig. I was around when oats were just things you ate in the morning. Paper and plastic. I can't go for that. We're Hall and Oats. <laughs> you drew them i'm guessing you drew them yes love that look at these cute little stickers some mini art prints look at that stickers we got the guys from ghost adventures i've seen a couple episodes look at that. i've been meaning to look at more instead of panda express it's hot mez express i think this is david from Shit's creek i'm trying really hard not to connect with people right now that's so raven but it's a raven also from Shit's creek david oh i would kill for a good coma right now is that kind of how she sounds <laughs> The emotional support water bottle. That's great. That is, look how shiny that one is. You're really good at picking like the colors of stuff. Be one with nature. Oh my God, I just flipped my hair and it just, it just came around. Okay, cards for all occasions. May the contents of this box save you many late night trips to Walmart because you forgot to buy a card. Love that. Cards for all occasions. I really like that. There's gotta be a bajillion in here. Oh, to this, my card stash would never live up to this card stash. Are you kidding? It's even categorized. Holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah. Hard to spell. Hanukkah is... There's a couple double letters in there. Winter solstice, Easter, Valentine's Day. You kidding? Love and friendship. Be Whoa, look at this box of goodies. Holy shit. Miss Milestones, congrats for new house, new baby, pregnant, getting married, engaged, graduation. Okay, I just sat down and went through those cards. There must be 40 in the box. Debbie, I love your style of art. These are funny jokes. These are great. They're vibrant. These are so one of a kind cards. These are the type of cards that you keep. I keep all the cards everyone sends me. In the PO box or just like in life in general. What's going on? Do I need like a bobby pin? They had bobby pins back in the day. Or they just put like a twig in there keep the hair down. That one just says nailed it <laughs> with the light. Thank you for being a mom and it's the golden girls. Oh, kind of feels like Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> you just give this to somebody when they're in a slump. I love this one. Trashy but cute. Little raccoons. She's a 10 but she's into some morbid shit. <laughs> Perhaps eating carbs will help. If it hadn't been for you, I'd probably be living in a van down by the river. Classic Chris Farley line. In a van down by the river. I love Chris Farley. I miss Chris Farley. This one's just so trippy and vibrant. Like I could see someone like that putting that out on their coffee table being like, oh my God, look at this piece of art I got in the mail. Look at you over here graduating and shit, making, what does it say? Make it, being all smart, making the rest of us look like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> I would, I, this is the only type of graduation card I would give out if they had more of these in the store. You know how many times I'm in the Dollar Tree and I, they they never get like a new batch of cards, really. I think I've given this birthday card out several times. So now I got a whole box. I got a secret stash. People are going to be like, you know, what, what happened to Christine? She has really stepped up her card game. And I'm like, it's all thanks to Debbie. It's all thanks to DebbieDrawsFunny.com. I hope this birthday card isn't too cheesy for you. It's just a bunch of cheese. Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching all the videos. I can't believe you've been sticking with me for this long. I thank you for putting up with me for this long. Thank you to everybody for always putting up with me, sticking up for me, putting up with me. You know the drill. This is great. You did not have to send me this much stuff, but I truly, truly, truly appreciate the cards. The textures and the layering they put on the back of this is crazy. Isn't that from Bridesmaids where they go, we've got a colonial woman on the wing. Somehow, now we have bangs. Now I'm trying to look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> Get you a girl who could do both. How can I not say where it's from? You're sending it anonymously? Ooh, it's shedding. That's not my hair. I don't have white hair yet. <laughs> Give it a couple of weeks. Okay, I don't know where this is from. Feels like art. Green paper on the inside. There's a note. There she is. Ooh, look at that. I see the color already. Damn, look at that. Look at that. We ain't got some alloy art in a long time. That is sick. Hey, those are good colors. The tie-dye alley looks great. Got little sunglasses on. Corgi's on the card. Hi, Christine. I was watching this video of you rapping about yourself, and you said tie-dye and cactus. Rapping about myself? I was uh, rapping. I've rapped on this channel. Oh, I, I think it's a TikTok. <laughs> I had a rap career because I play a mean karaoke harmonica. Rapping about yourself, you said you like tie-dye and cactus, and well, now you have a painting of alley with a tie-dye background. Please keep being hilarious. Your friend, is that weird? <laughs> uh, probably, Abby. <laughs> You didn't sign it from Abby, you probably, Abby. <laughs> 
is going on the office wall. I already know. This is sick. Good colors. Maybe once I get the cactus back to normal. Even right there, take that one down. Abby, thank you. I don't know where you're from, Abby, but if you're in the comments, comment down below somewhere so I know where you're from, but it wasn't on the package. Thank you. This is from Susanna. Bethel, Connecticut. I've never heard that before. Bethel? Imagine if you lived here, your name was Ethel. Ethel from Bethel? My name's Ethel, and I'm from Bethel. Don't you forget it. Ethel from Bethel? She could go into any profession she wants. Oh, I'm just a sa traveling salesman, but I'm Ethel from Bethel. How you doing? Would you like to buy some new windshield wipers today? But what's up? It's Ethel from Bethel. Put on an art show over here. Might want to stop by. Hey, honey. No, it's Ethel from Bethel. Just trying to get in contact with you about your car insurance. You know you need it. Oh. But this isn't Ethel. This is Susanna. Susanna from Bethel, Connecticut. That still rings a bell, too. Susanna from Bethel, Connecticut. I like the s, the b, the k, the s, b, k, s, b, k. Susanna from Bethel, Connecticut. Susanna from Bethel, Connecticut. Connecticut's a fun stadium because it's a Connecticut. Here comes Stinky Boy. Were you napping? Did I cut through your card? No, okay. Sometimes I'd be slicing and dicing with this thing. It says Christine, nice. You smell. No, you stink. No, can you please leave? Sorry. You reek. And we gave you a bath and he still reeks. Oh, curved rainbow car. <gasps> Look at that, it opens up at the top of the rainbow. Christine, thank you so much for your videos. You have made the world a better place. I have made you a few things. I will explain. Thank you, Sue. Oh, your name's Susanna, but you go by Sue? Oh, I always thought Sue is short for Susan, but it could be short for Susanna. Oh my God, is Sue short for Susan and Susan shorter for Susanna? Susanna, Susan, Sue. You can have three daughters named Sue, Susanna, and Susan. Tate and Tot, portable emotional support potato and his supervisor, who is a tater tot. <laughs> That is this. I've no. I did. I even understand that portable emotional support potatoes. I love potatoes. Aren't all potatoes emotional support potatoes? And a super a supervisor who is a tater tot. I love tater tots too. Plush sour gummy worm. You made a plush sour gummy worm. How did you make it? How sour? Defiant Rainbows is your company. I like your logo. Oh, Etsy shop. Defiant Rainbows. Okay. Can it, look at these pink packages. Feels fluffy already. You made this. <laughs> Is this like a skinned potato? When you eat like a baked potato, I don't like the skin. Unless it comes in like a baked potato appetizer. But if you're like, if you take a baked potato and you open it up, you put butter and you mash it up. I don't like the skin. I just like the potato. This is perfect. This speaks to me. This is a peeled potato. An emotional support peeled potato. Look at the eyeballs. So golden flecky. Flecky? Fleck, flecky? Gold flecky. Imagine trying to explain. Someone comes, someone sees it on the couch. Like, what is that? That's my emotional support potato. Is this a sour gummy <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so funny. A sour gummy worm plushie. This looks like the snake from the Britney Spears video. Are you ready? I am like the Walmart version of Britney Spears in that music video. <laughs> the sour gummy plushie. Put this in the top 10 most random things we've ever gotten. This is a bad. Oh, you made this bad? What the heck? This is so, how did you even make that? Looks like seatbelts. Your products are like blowing my mind right now. I can't even really comprehend. This would be the perfect bag for a colonial man. He's just like, the Declaration of Independence is in here somewhere. I'll show you the Bill of Rights. I got it in my purse right here. The texture feels like seatbelts, but I love the feel of a seatbelt. Like it's like that shiny smooth material. This is so cool. Look at the inside. Isn't that just like a nice eye catching pattern? Like you, I can tell you wove all this together. You have been shocking me thus far. Oh, a little tie-dye bag. Look at that. Tie-dyeing anything but a t-shirt to me is impossible. Ooh, child. Here we come through with the tie-dye. Look how bright that is. I've never had tie-dye with like striped curves. That's crazy. Oh, I like the colors on this one. This is a long sleeve? She said it's going to be winter soon. We're going to move into long sleeve. Christine, you better be wearing your long sleeves. Oh my God, it's like an eye. Holy cano. Wow. How did you even? Looks like a big old eyeball. Thank you so much. All those products just like blew my mind. I'm having a hard time. I'm still not past the pot the peeled potato stuffy. <laughs> to look at your Etsy and look at the other products you have because I can't even fathom what else you are coming up with over there. Why is there so much room in this box? This is from Amazon. What is that? Brown bread? <laughs> I thought it was dog food. Brown bread original, ready to serve. New England tradition, B&M. Bread in a can. Is this because I said the whoopie pies in a can for that one video? Whoopie pies in a can of whoop ass. Ready to serve. I'll be the judge of that. What is this, a crochet kit? We just need to get past Halloween. Oh my God, my, my hairline. Uh, we just need to get past Halloween and then I can start doing some more crafty stuff. I'm just stressed out with Halloween and I got a busy week coming up. Oh. This is fun. It's got stuffing, hooks, it's got the needles, it's got the thread. 
like a DIY crochet. Well, every crochet is DIY. You have to crochet it yourself. It is do it yourself. Crochet is the epitome of a DIY project. Thank you for the crochet kit. Should we open this can, can of brown bread? What if it stinks? I mean, we already got so many smells going on in here. This can opener has seen better days. Are you guys out here cleaning your can openers? It is gunked up. We've had this since I was born. Please tell me we all just heard the tss. I'm scared. Straight up bread in a can. Ooh, it's a little hard, a little loafy. I will try it for the channel. <laughs> okay, no, it's a, yeah. No, no, I, I think I think somebody um, eats that. Taste is a little dance. You ever been chewing something that you don't really wanna be chewing and you just can't seem to swallow it? You can't seem to get it to the back of your mouth. That's kind of what it was like. Brown bread from a can, huh? It kind of tastes like a Fig Newton sort of thing. Yep, that, that taste is gonna be in my mouth for a while. But thank you whoever sent it. Thank you for that experience. You know how some people have a bucket list of things they wanna do? There should also just be a bucket list of things that you've done that you d never wanted to do, you had no interest in doing, but you just happened upon it, it happened to you. You know, you happened to it, it just happened. I ate brown bread out of a can once. Put it on the bucket list of things done. Things I didn't know I was gonna experience. Okay, this says handle with care, fragile. K Briggs Designs. Barnhart, Missouri, or Montana. God damn it, which one's the MO? MO is Missouri. Barnhart, Missouri. Barnhart, Barnhart, Missouri. Barnhart. I'm sure if you guys have football games, it's probably what they cheer. Barnhart, Missouri. Barnhart, Barnhart, Missouri. Barnhart. I know we ain't got mail from there before. I would have remembered that. Warning. Oh my God, did I just slice through my shirt? No. Warning. Opening this will cause extreme excitement. That was stamped right on here. Got the brown, crispy, crunchy paper. This one just says thank you. It has all these little gold dots on it. A little shiny, shiny. Thank you for all the awesome videos. I hope you love this tumbler as much as I do from Katie K. Briggs Designs. She even has a nice little like marbly business card. I've got my collection of tumblers over here. Wow, you packaged this so well. This feels heavy duty. Did this come with a liquid in it? Oh, this is a big boy. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is bigger than my head. It says, don't be a prick. The cactuses, the vibrant colors, it's so damn sparkly. Of all the tumblers that I say could be doubled as weapons, this one takes the cake. I don't think I've gotten a tumbler this big. This would be a weapon. You're at the gas station filling this up. You're like, hey, I brought my own cup from my house. This one just gonna give me some Diet Coke. Let me just... You turn around, someone's robbing the store. You just start slowly pouring this out. You go, I'll be right back. Put the lid on, you turn around. <laughs> Hello, sir! If you bust the cash register, I cannot buy my Diet Coke. Get the f Get out of here, you little hoodlum! Stop robbing my favorite gas station! You just take them out. And then you just take a napkin, wipe this back off, put it right back under the soda machine. You're like, and now back to what I was doing. It's gonna take me about four minutes just to fill this up, okay? This is when I meditate. I just sit here, put the Diet Coke, tss it's coming out of the machine I just think today's gonna be a good day maybe a good hair day thank you for the tumbler but not, but also might just you know how people put baseball bats in their car in case they need a baseball bat this might just go in the trunk because I might just need it if you get too close to me and I raise this above my head I'm not toasting you you about to go night night BAM this doesn't need to be this big there's nothing in here <laughs> Why is it such a big box? Iron on letters. Iron on, these could have fit in an envelope, Amazon. Putting them in a big ass box. What the, what, why? And you with the, and these needed to be protected from what? From who, I should say. We gotta stop putting the iron on letters in envelopes because people, there's a big steal and theft thing going on with the iron on letters. What? Put it in the biggest box imaginable? No. Whoever sent these, thank you. Is this the life? Oh no, is this ice? Yes, Ice Age Collector Plush Set. Have I ever said I've seen the movies? I think I have. Oh my god, Sid is the best character. Here's like the little crackhead squirrel or whatever this is. That always pop, 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 digs at the ice and takes his chipmunk, his chipmunk, takes his acorn out. I don't even know who this is. I must have not seen past the first movie. Is this the saber-toothed tiger? Yes. I like Sid. They left without me. They do this every year. What is this, Amazon? A wallet? Oh, that's cute. Thank you for being you. I recently left home without your wallet. You recently left home. Without, I do that all the time. Recently left home without your wallet, which I used to do until I started using this kind of wallet that I keep attached to a lanyard and my keys. Maybe this will work for you too, from Sarah in Maine. I love when people look at a video and they just think so practically. They go, she always leaves her wallet. There's a product to fix that. This isn't even a problem that she should be having. Little llama on the bag, little cactuses. Attached to the lanyard, attached to your keys. It's all detachable, attachable. Thank you. Oh, whatever's in here is sticking out. Is this a staple in the bag? There is a damn staple poking through. <laughs> 
Amanda, Fort Johnson, Louisiana. Okay, we're gonna open this because if I leave it unopened, it's gonna keep sticking me and jabbing me. I'm hoping it's a staple. <laughs> Ooh, purple paper. Thank you for all the videos. They brighten my day. I run a small business and wanted to make you something to say thank you. Amanda from Sirens Oddities. Sirens Oddities. Oh, it's earring backs. <laughs> okay. Yes, that makes more sense. Look at these cactus earrings. I haven't seen them like that before. And she like mixed metals. It's silver with the gold. Oh, these are very cute. They like, you can tell they're like a good dangle. I think these are eagles. I'm not, I'm not too up to date on my birds. Look at these eagle heads. That's a metal piece right there. And the ones that were sticking out, these are little paw prints. Thank you so much for the earrings. These cactus ones are cute. Ooh, those are gonna come in handy. How did we get here? The wig came so perfectly. Do, 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 do. This is me when I'm at work, when I gotta sign some stuff, make some laws, keep some people in order. This is me at 5 p.m. and the rave. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you guys so much for the packages and the letters and the cards. I don't know if everybody puts as much time into looking at like cards and stuff as I do or appreciate them, but I love the cards that you guys pair with the stuff the inside, jokes, the this, the. Thank you so much for all the packages. I really appreciate it. I get to make videos like this and I get to play and goof off and have fun. I gotta go though. I gotta hit up the local pub for a little bit of band practice and I'll see y'all later. <laughs>